And Geraldo Rivera is here. Hello, Brian. Uh, Fox Hi, he's How at you large, and his, his being at large has him. You're a large presence. I am right a large. Now. I'm over large. Right. So, <laughs> so is uh, is this embarrassing to Mexico that they're unable to hold? And the, it's half of them got I, out? I think that uh, Mexico is experiencing the same kinds of problems with volume as we are on our southern border. It's very, very difficult when you have hundreds and hundreds become thousands and thousands ultimately become tens of thousands. It's very difficult to have an orderly system. It seems to me the fact that Mexico apprehended uh, these mostly uh, Cuban refugees is a step in the right direction. Uh, now, uh, in terms of facilities, that is something I believe the United States can help with. Uh, I, just as I believe, and I have said before on this program, that we have to stop the source of the migrant uh, explosion, the, this volcanic uh, immigration we've had, by a, a comprehensive system of political and economic reform in, in Central America, where people have an incentive to stay home, where they think they can be safe, where they can raise their children in a decent way, where they can get educated, where they have a future that doesn't involve MS-13 or one of these other groups. So I, I believe that we can help Mexico with its infrastructure because Mexico does have a moral burden, as the president has made very clear, not to let unchecked uh, 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 herds of, uh, of desperate people flow through 2,000 miles of Mexican yeah. territory to get to our southern border. Well, Haraldo, We've got to be a regional approach. Geraldo, this started as a conversation about one caravan. Now it has been one caravan after another. You now have an influx, influx of family units coming across the border. Looking ahead at, toward 2020, is this an issue that now Democrats, you think, are prepared to take seriously, given the scope of what's actually being visibly shown to the public in footage and otherwise? I think, Jedediah, if they don't take it seriously, they do, they ignore it at their peril. It's very clear now that whatever you thought of the president's initial speech coming down the escalator at Trump Tower, and I remember I was broadcasting live on WABC radio, and I was, yeah, 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 right on. There he goes. There's my buddy. When's the last time you had a hangout buddy running for president? And then he said the thing about Mexicans and rapists, and, and I, I was deflated. Uh, but I think that the president has had an arc, just as he has in his presidency writ large, on the issue of immigration. He now is in a position where he can justly say, I was right, mm -hmm. that, the, that the, the anarchy at the border doesn't serve anybody. Uh, you know, maybe he said it in language that I, I thought was, uh, was a little rough and insensitive. But there's no doubt when Thomas Friedman in the New York Times in an op-ed page writes how necessary a wall is, then you know sure. that American yeah. society has moved considerably to the center on the issue of immigration, yeah. even though we need comprehensive sure. immigration reform and the dreamers and all the rest of it. But uh, the Democrats don't want to say Donald Trump was right because that would give him a win and we're heading toward 2020. What do you make of Joe Biden uh, finally yesterday uh, declaring in an online video that he is in it? He also revealed yesterday that uh, he did. He specifically asked Barack Obama don't endorse me. <laughs> so I don't claims. need your help. I think that his friendship with the Obamas is the strongest asset he has. Yeah. And I understand why strategically, or maybe tactically, you don't want the president, the former president, announcing right now and tying himself to, the, to a candidate. Certainly the former first lady, Michelle Obama, on this extensive book tour, which is being interviewed every single day, sure. she could easily say, oh, I'm so glad our old buddy Joe's running. We love him in the Obama household. He was so cool with us. And we, he stood that's with why my, I endorsed uh, Hillary Clinton last time yeah. and told him to stay out. <laughs> and but, that's, that's why I sent my guys to Beto O'Rourke. I, I, I think that, the pre that Joe Biden's biggest asset is his relationship with the Obamas, his loyalty to President Obama. Uh, that's where I think he gets a lot of his, uh, uh, his support from, from older women and uh, minorities, particularly African Americans. So what's he going to do about his past? Uh, you know, his past... Should he embrace it? First, first of all, I, I embrace... He already tried getting Anita Hill. I embrace him because he's the only one, he and Bernie Sanders, older than I am. So <laughs> I, I think just for, just for the senior citizen uh, contingent uh, watching, uh, you know, we have to support these old timers. I, I think that, I, I joke about age, but I do so with, with this serious bottom line. The moment he flags, remember, he'll be 78 years old if elected in November 2020. The moment he, 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 he 
stutters or or stumbles or uh, looks d deflated in terms of energy. They're going to say he's too old. One, one of the things about Donald Trump is for a 72-year-old guy, he bounds up on the stage. He has that tremendous energy. He kisses uh, anyone who wants to be kissed, high-fiving everybody. Uh, <laughs> Joe Biden, unfortunately, kisses people who don't necessarily <laughs> doesn't want to. Like <laughs> and doesn't, yeah. doesn't like oh, he doesn't have uh, and I I don't think personally if Joe Biden I I don't know how he wins the nomination when uh, you know the year of the woman the year yeah. of the activist then, then who does uh, the who does uh, you know I guess one of the senators you know, you maybe so? Kamala. Bernie? You think Kamala's going to rise think, up think, against Ber uh, above Bernie Sanders? You think so? I, I think that uh, Bernie has plateaued. I, I think that there's no His more. Is there's 30%. No, no place. Else. Once once you have a, a, a an admitted and avowed socialist who says you know uh, the I'm Boston bomber can vote. Right, can vote, a rapist can vote, mm -hmm. uh, a, a guy can postpone his execution. Now wait a second, I've got to cast my ballot uh, yeah. for my next representative. <laughs> I hope my well, chat doesn't hang. You can't vote for that one anyway. That was. Uh, yeah. I, I think that. Uh, uh, Bernie will uh, will plateau. One of these people will break out of the crowd. I think Beto is finished. I think Mayor Pete dusted him off. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to go that way, if you wanted to go with the young buckaroo uh, with uh, flamboyant ideas and an aggressive uh, uh, point of view, maybe uh, maybe you go with uh, Mayor Pete, who has uh, demonstrated success in South Bend, even though South Bend is a relatively wrap-up yes. question. Community. Do you believe, as, as was written today, that on some level the president fears Joe Biden? worries about Joe Biden and the working class vote and Pennsylvania and Indiana and things like that. Well, I think that Joe Biden has a legit claim. I mean, he is uh, he spent the He's first 10 years of his so life in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Really, the Trump team is really concerned? You know, I live in Cleveland now. I, all I can tell you is that from central Pennsylvania through uh, the, the heart of Ohio, then uh, west to uh, Michigan and Wisconsin and so forth, uh, I think President Trump has to perform there again. He has to maintain the white working class guy. Uh, Joe Biden, I think, is the only one who could have a remote appeal to that crowd, to the crowd that we've been calling the Trump base. But when you saw the president last night, we didn't say we heard his voice on, on the Hannity program, he, he sounds competent, he sounds confident. Uh, the tide has turned in terms of Russiagate. Uh, it's now going to all roll back on all the architects of, of the misery that uh, mm -hmm. the Trump administration has been subjected to, and the president particularly. Uh, I, we're going to find out what role. Uh, you know, I don't know what role Joe Biden played in Russiagate. What role yeah, did Barack exactly. Obama play? Right. What about Loretta Lynch, their attorney general? She was the attorney general there for a long time. Maybe yeah. we'll find out with the uh, inspector general report, which is, sounds like it's coming. it's coming. The president referred to it as walk right to right. your yeah. house. Yeah. Aroldo, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much, Aroldo. Right. Yeah. Always great to have you. I'll see you later. Okay. All right. All right. I thought you were going to hit my thigh. I was mistaken. I didn't know you were going to stay up there. We'll talk All about right. it again in the break. <laughs>